What does Jim Jordan hope to learn from the documents he wants from the Justice Department? Well, look, as you laid out, and we were first to report this morning, this is a new letter from the head of the Judiciary Committee, once again going on offense to protect former President Donald Trump, or at least to try to cast aspersions on the FBI and the Department of Justice. In this case, what he's asking for here is the scope memo. What is the internal deliberations that outline and define the special counsel's probe into the former president at this time? Jordan is now setting a deadline of trying to get those answers for two weeks from now, June 20th, it's unlikely that he will hear the response that he wants, which is turning over this internal memo. But it's another reminder of the role that the House Republican majority is playing for the former president here. Despite the fact that we saw this once again after the indictment in New York, we watched Jordan and several other committee chairmen at that point go after the Manhattan DA in that case. Now we're watching the way that they're trying to exert oversight in this this case from the Judiciary Committee on an ongoing DOJ probe about the former president. And again, this is from Jim Jordan, who is a staunch ally of the former president. And it's one of many inquiries that he's made of the Department of Justice in the last week alone. All of this trying to just muddy the waters from a congressional perspective in an attempt to try to pull some of this into an oversight space and pull for more transparency about this investigation, which comes back to something that Ken said at the beginning of this. These are notoriously quiet, secret investigations when they are grand juries. So again, it's unlikely that Jordan's going to get the answers he wants here.